Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Pioneer Backpack from Troubadour, which is a really sleek work and everyday bag. In the past, we've taken a look at a few other offerings from Troubadour, such as their Ridge Backpack and the Apex Explorer, and those were really solid bags. But the aesthetic and organizational layout of this bag in particular caught my eye, so I was excited to have a chance to test it out. I've been using it for the past couple of weeks, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience testing it. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through the different features that it has, and I'll also talk about how this compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I wanna thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. To me, Troubadour's bags have a very kind of modern and sophisticated vibe. As I mentioned in some of the videos that I've done for them in the past, they feel to me almost like a mixture of a Bellroy and a Toomey bag. So it's, it's an aesthetic that I think is gonna work particularly well with a more professional outfit for taking into the office while still looking great for exploring a city or traveling. As far as the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. On the exterior, you have a recycled nylon fabric that feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage and also offer plenty of weather resistance. And then you have aqua guarded YKK zippers all throughout that feel like they're gonna keep all of your stuff well protected. And you also have some leather accenting on the zipper pulls as well as the top handle. Continuing along the outside, I was happy to see that you have two external water bottle pockets, one on each side, and these offer a decent amount of space. I was able to fit the same 20 ounce water bottle that I normally carry with me pretty comfortably. The compartment does have some elasticity as well, so if you have a slightly thicker bottle, you should be able to squeeze it in there. There's also a decent depth, so it doesn't feel like my water bottle is accidentally gonna slip out. One thing to note is that if you have something super thick, it may start to share some volume with the main compartment, so you'll have to keep that in mind as you load things out. But I like that what, because of the elasticity that's included here, the pockets kind of get pulled up against the side of the bag to maintain a cleaner overall look when they're not in use. Moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 23 to 24 liters, which to me is a really great daily bag size. I was able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me, and I still had some leftover space without the bag feeling overwhelmingly big. And I like that when it's a little bit more packed out, it still maintains a pretty slim silhouette, which makes it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit, and carrying onto most domestic and international airlines. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. They feel like they've been improved a lot from these straps that we saw on Troubadour's Ridge Backpack and their Apex Explorer. They just feel softer and more padded out of the box. They have this kind of almost gel-like padding, which feels really nice. On the inside, you don't really have a meshy material to provide that extra bit of breathability, but I haven't noticed too much moisture building up. And these straps also have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. One thing to note about this bag is you do appear to have the ability to add a sternum strap. There's a little rail here that I've seen on other bags where you can attach a sternum strap. One wasn't included with the bag that I received. And honestly, with a bag of this size, that's not something that I normally think is critical to have. As far as the back paneling, this has also been really comfortable. You have plenty of padding here. It's the same soft, almost gel-like padding that we saw on the straps. And there's no meshy material here either, so it's not gonna have as much breathability as some of the other bags that we've checked out, but I do like that the padding is a little bit elevated to create these air channels to provide you with a little bit of airflow and ventilation while you're walking around throughout the day. One last note while we're on the back paneling is that it has this nice luggage pass-through here, which is gonna allow you to rest this on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag provides a nice variety of pockets all throughout. Starting off on the front, you have a simple, quick access pocket. I like that it has a vertically oriented zipper, which is gonna allow you to swing the bag around without taking it all the way off and be able to grab some of the essentials that you might have in here. Again, well-protected zipper and a decent amount of space, no internal organization in this compartment. Uh, this is gonna be a great spot to store items such as my Kindle, which is what I currently have there. And I also tossed in a little pouch from Tom Bin. This is my ghost wall pouch that has some of the other tech and EDC accessories that I always have with me. At the top of the bag, you have another quick access pocket, again, with a well-protected zipper. I love these types of pockets. It's one of the ones that I use most throughout the day. Just placing the bag down next to me while I'm sitting down, I can reach down and grab some of these items. And there's a decent amount of space in this compartment. It has plenty of volume. So what I currently have here is my sunglasses with their case. I also tossed in my magic mouse. I have a pair of Apple AirPods. 
And then I also have a lightning cable and power brick to charge my phone. One thing that I really like about the inside of this compartment is that it also has a sort of softer lining to help prevent against scratching if you wanna place anything a little more delicate like your glasses or a phone. And then you also have a lanyard inside of this compartment with a clip that's gonna be a great spot to attach something like your keys or a multi-tool. The next thing I wanna call out is that you do have external access to the laptop sleeve. The laptop sleeve isn't necessarily separate from the main compartment, so you can access it from the top, as we'll see in a second, or from the side. If you're going through TSA, if you just wanna be able to get to it a little bit more quickly without opening the bag up, you have a very well-protected zipper here along the side. I also like that it's a big zipper, so if you have a larger device, you should be able to get into the compartment okay. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. You can see that there's plenty of space if you have a 15 or 16 inch laptop. Should be able to fit in there comfortably. The sleeve is pretty well padded. You have the same kind of soft material that we saw in the top quick access compartment. So it's gonna help prevent against scratching. The compartment isn't suspended off the bottom of the ground, which I would have liked to have seen. There is padding on the bottom, so when you place your bag down, it doesn't feel like your device is super exposed. But again, I always just prefer for that sleeve to be pulled up maybe a little bit. Regardless, it feels like my device is safe and I can get to it very easily, so pulling the device out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside, and so it comes up a decent amount. If you have a thicker device or you wanna use a case with your laptop, it should be able to squeeze in here fairly comfortable. However, this is space that's shared with the main area of the bag, so you have to keep that in mind as you're packing everything out. But for the device that I normally carry with me, it feels like everything is gonna be well protected while I'm running around. And then on the bottom, one thing that I was excited about with this bag is that you have a separate shoe compartment, which is gonna make it great for use as a gym bag. And this has another aqua guarded zipper, which is interesting because you do have this ventilation on the, on the bottom. So if you place your bag down in a puddle or something, there's some holes, so some moisture could potentially still get into the compartment, uh, but it's nice to have that ventilation. So if you place some sweaty shoes in there or even some wet clothes after the gym, the compartment's gonna be able to breathe and not get super stinky. Then you also have this sort of locking YKK zipper at the bottom, uh, locking in the sense that when you have the um, tab flip down, can't really open it up. You don't have the ability to lock this compartment necessarily, uh, but it does prevent it from opening up too easily. And so getting into this shoe compartment, uh, I always like bags that have, you know, this separate area for, you know, dirty clothes or shoes like this. And this actually provides a decent amount of volume. Now this does go directly into the main compartment. So if you place the shoes on the inside, it's going to limit how much you can carry in the rest of the space. But, you know, this is fairly flexible. So it adjusts depending on what you're, what you're carrying. And you can get a sense of how big it is here. Right? You can pull this out, let it dry out, clean it if you place something dirtier in here. And then with the amount of space that's offered here, I have a pretty large shoe size. I wear an 11 and a half and I was able to fit my Nike Free Run or something like Adidas Ultra Boost. Those are the shoes that I would normally carry in a compartment like this and swap them out with my nicer shoes if I was going to work. So again, just really nice to have this separate area and then it just kind of collapses into itself when you want to take full advantage of the rest of the volume in the bag. The last area that we're gonna be taking a look at is the main compartment. The first thing I wanna call out about this zipper is that it does have the ability to lock. So if you wanna have a little bit more peace of mind while you're traveling or commuting, you know, you can lock this up to make it harder to get into. And then this is a top loading bag, but the zippers go down a great amount. So you're gonna have plenty of visibility into the main compartment. This flap is gonna come down. Uh, so not quite clamshell style, but still you have plenty of visibility to everything that you might want to be able to get to. And the way that this main area is laid out, it's still going to be able to handle some bulkier items fairly well. It's not a huge compartment, but it was able to fit all the items that I normally like to carry with me, especially when I didn't have a pair of shoes on the inside. I had a little bit of additional space for other larger bulkier items. So diving into what I have here, first up are my Beats Studio wireless headphones with their hard shell case. I also have the Air Slim pouch, which is one of my favorite tech and EDC pouches. It doesn't take up a lot of room, but it can hold an impressive amount of stuff. Then down at the bottom, I have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. I also have a full-size moleskin notebook. And then the last thing I have in here is my Levitate portable spanning disc. 
Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And so again, I like how much this comes up. It's gonna make it good for handling bulkier items or shoes. If you use the shoe compartment here, you can get another view of just how far that comes into this area. And then although this is a little bit smaller than what I would normally use for a travel bag, it does give you enough flexibility if you wanna toss in a packing cube to use this for a shorter weekend trip. Should be able to work in that use case. And then on the inside, you have a decent amount of organization uh, for you know being able to easily reach whatever you need to throughout the day. So on the flap, you have two mesh zippered compartments. I like the mesh that's used here as you can see what's inside of the compartment easily. And so on this top one, I just have the USB-C cable that goes with uh, my iPad and it's power brick. But again, plenty of space, maybe for other tech accessories or medicines or anything like that. And then below that, another compartment, it's slightly larger than the one at the top, but again, plenty of volume for you know simple items. In this one, I have just a deck of cards. And then I also have my little manicure set that I always like to have with me. And then on the back of the compartment, you have some more just kind of slip pockets that are gonna be great for smaller accessories that you don't want getting lost in the bottom of the bag. So down at the front, the first ones that we have here are almost elastic. They have a, a little bit of a stretchier material. I don't know if you can get a good enough view into that. So this might be a good spot to put something like your phone. In my case, I just have a little tin with some Band-Aids and ointments. And then next to that, I have a smaller slot, which is gonna be great for a pen. The pen that I'm currently using is this Bolt Action Pen from The Ridge. I've bought into the hype on bolt action pens. They are very fun and fidgety. And then behind that, you have two pretty deep slip pockets, which are gonna be great for taller accessories. So in this one here on the left, I have a portable battery that has a wireless charger, also from the Ridge. And then next to that, a similarly sized compartment. I don't currently have anything in there at the moment, but it might be a good spot to place something like your mouse or a portable hard drive or something like that. Behind that, I have a zippered compartment, which is you know pretty simple. It doesn't have a ton of space or organization, but it might be a good spot to hold something flatter. In my case, I actually placed my iPad mini in there. It fit very comfortably. You could probably also fit a Kindle, a notebook, or just other items that you don't want getting kind of lost in here. This is a little bit pulled up off the bottom as well. And then on the back, you can get a better view at the laptop sleeve that we saw earlier. So if you're traveling, you pull this out from under the seat, you wanna reach in from the top. Sometimes that's a little bit more convenient, so I like the flexibility that this layout provides. You can see, again, on the back, that softer material, plenty of space. And so just a really nice organizational layout and space offered in this main area and throughout the rest of the bag. It's very well thought out. And if you're looking for a professionally styled bag that's gonna be able to handle some of your gym clothes, tech essentials, and just be a great day-to-day -day bag, then this is gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Pioneer backpack over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on the company site for about $275, so it's definitely a bit of an investment. The bag is very well built, it uses some pretty premium materials, and it feels like it's gonna hold up well over the longer term. However, there's also gonna be some other great options in this price range that may be worth considering. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of was another one of Troubadour's offerings, the Ridge Backpack, which I really enjoyed using a while back. That one has the same kind of modern and sophisticated aesthetic that this bag has, similar materials, just has kind of a different organizational layout. It almost feels a little bit more traditional. You have nice external pockets, a big main area, separate laptop sleeve. Uh, so just a really well laid out bag. It was able to hold an impressive amount of stuff. It's similar in size. Um, you know, it looks great with a suit or a more professional outfit. So if you like Troubadour's aesthetic and build quantity, and you want a bag that's gonna offer maybe a little bit of a different organizational layout, then that's gonna be a great option to consider. The next bags that came to mind as I was testing this out were the Air Fit Pack 3 and the Duffel Pack 3, which are both part of their active collection and just really solid tech and gym bag hybrids. They have Air's kind of modern, minimalist aesthetic, great build quality that's gonna offer plenty of weather resistant, really nice organizational layout. They both have a separate shoe compartment, which is gonna be great, particularly when you wanna to go to the gym after work if you wanna toss in some shoes and an extra pair of clothes. So those are really solidly built. They offer great protection for your tank. Nice organizational layout. And so if you're looking for you know, a great kind of gym slash tech bag that's gonna have that modern type of aesthetic and that's gonna come in at a slightly lower price range and that's gonna be a fantastic option to consider. 
Another bag this made me think of is the Modern Dayfarer backpack, which I looked at a while back, but it still is one of the best work and gym bags that I featured on the channel. It has a top loading design that offers some expandability. It actually opens up flat as well if you like kind of a clamshell style view of everything that's on the inside of the bag. It has a nice organizational layout. It's pretty minimal, but it's very interesting how all the pockets are laid out. It's comfortable to wear. It has a luggage pass through, a separate shoe compartment, a well padded a laptop area. So it kind of covers all the bases. It has a very you know minimalist and professional looking aesthetic. Um, and so the biggest difference difference is just the kind of top loading nature of that bag with the buckle and if that's more the type of bag that you like if you prefer to have maybe a little bit more flexibility with the ability to expand and compress and that's going to be a great option to keep in mind. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Bellroy Transit Work Pack which has been one of my favorite bags of the past year. That one just has such a nice modern aesthetic very sophisticated similar to this bag here it is a full clamshell style opening which i really like so it's going to give you a lot of flexibility and visibility with how you kind of pack and organize all of your items i really like the organizational layout on that it has just the right amount of pocketing it's comfortable to wear i really love the laptop area in particular on that it's very well padded and suspended it has a solid build quality and it's also going to come in at a slightly lower price range so if you're looking for a really solidly built bag that's going to have a clamshell style opening and work great in a more professional setting then that's going to be one of the best options that you can take a look at with that being said the troubadour pioneer backpack holds up really well against all those options and if you're looking for a durable and sophisticated bag that's gonna look great with a suit and in a professional environment and you have a little bit of a higher budget, then this is gonna be a great option to consider. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Pioneer backpack and how it compares to some of the other great kind of tech and everyday bags that we featured on the channel in the past. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.